Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm happy to see so many new faces. Uh, welcome to this technical seminar. My name is uh, Jan Nordin, and I will, together with my colleague, Dr. Peter Greenwood, uh, present uh, something about self-cleaning elastomeric cool roof coatings uh, with uh, superior performance. Uh, a few words about elastomeric coatings. It's uh, very often called waterproofing coatings and uh, is applied on roofs to protect the substrate from, from water leakage and, and uh, hot temperatures, high temperatures from, from the sun. Uh, what happens when a roof heats up in the day and cools off in the night is that the the substrate moves with the increasing heat and, and contracts with, the, with the, the, the cold weather in the night. And the, and the, the coating needs to, to move with the substrate and deform with the substrate without uh, forming cracks and so on. Uh, very often these type of waterproofing coatings are formulated as cool roof coatings to reduce the temperature of the roof of the coating and that gives you a more com higher comfort in, in, inside the building. It also gives you a lower surface temperature, coating temperature, and a longer lifespan of the coating. It's very important that these type of elastomeric coatings uh, have good adhesion to, to the substrates uh, in question. And it's also very important that uh, there is a low dirt pickup uh, over time uh, to, re to maintain the good uh, solar reflective properties. And we'll talk about these phenomena. First of all, I, I would, would like to in introduce you to Expancel Microspheres, which is a hollow thermoplastic microsphere that is uh, used to a large extent in, in these type of coatings. Uh, this product can be either used as a foaming agent that expands upon heat about four times the diameter and uh, you get a lightweight uh, filler in the end. It can be used as a foaming agent in, for example, uh, printing ink, shoe soles. In these type of coatings, we use the pre-expanded microsphere, typically the, the size of 20 micron in diameter, a low density around 30, grams per liter. Uh, the good thing with, with the thermoplastic microspheres is that they are resilient and they can deform with the, with the elastomeric roof coating when necessary. The easiest way to make a, a roof cool is to go from a dark color to, to white. Because white means uh, you reflect a lot of visible light. But uh, the solar spectra is more than visible light. It's also a big part of near-infrared radiation. Uh, it's uh, about 52% of the solar energy hitting the surface of the Earth is uh, in the near-infrared. And uh, it doesn't care if the coating is white or, or gray. So you can do more. And I will try to explain uh, our approach uh, in this application. We took uh, a very simplified system. One coating was only the binder. We, we made a draw out and we measured uh, solar reflective uh, properties, uh, spectral reflectance over a wide wave, over the solar spectra. And we can see that the binder itself do not have any reflective uh, properties, uh, which is not surprising. Then we took uh, the binder with titanium dioxide and you can see that uh, it's quite well at reflecting visible light and the uh, loss of refraction, uh, di diffraction tells us that to get, to get the good opacity, good reflection in visible light, you need to have a particle size, average particle size distribution about half the, uh, the length of the, the wavelength you, you want to reflect. So that also means that going up to higher wavelengths, you, you quite dramatically drop the, the effect of the, of the titanium, titanium dioxide. 
Uh, we also looked at the hollow microspheres in this type of coating, and we added that as a filler. Uh, typically, we exchange the calcium carbonate for, for, uh, for microspheres. And by adding 30 volume percent, we see the, the solar reflectivity uh, at a very wide spectrum of, of wavelengths. And the reason, the explanation to this is that uh, these hollow microspheres reflect bubbles, uh, reflect light in the way uh, as a foam. Uh, and I will try to do a demo here. These bubbles are uh, reflecting light, therefore you can see, it, see them. But you, s you can also see through them. That tells us that the bubbles do not, do not absorb very much light. And uh, if you multiply these bubbles, you make them smaller in a bigger in a in a smaller volume like a foam of the beer you can see that the foam of the beer is always whiter than the beer itself and uh, now it's almost impossible to see through it and the hollow microspheres work in a similar way going from the soap bubbles to the beer we we went down in size about uh, 100 times and if we if we go down 100 times more, we, we, have, we are in the size range of the hollow microspheres in, in the coating. We can also see that uh, uh, an acrylic binder with calcium carbonate, same volume percent, do not reflect as much as the hollow microspheres. And, and that is, uh, of course, because uh, calcium carbonate have a refractive index very, very close to, to the binder itself. Uh, so the effect is, is uh, weak. So by adding a huge amount of, of bubbles as a foam in the coating, you will get these reflective properties. You will, have, you will also get the, the low density of the coating, uh, and uh, the size of the bubble, of course, and the volume addition, together with the, the thickness of the, of the coating, will determine how big the effect from the, from the foam is on solar reflectivity. These are two examples of commercial coatings where uh, the purple uh, spectra comes from a coating filled with calcium carbonate and uh, has uh, 70 grams titanium dioxide per liter. And the blue coating is uh, where you exchange the calcium carbonate for ex expansel microspheres. And uh, uh, up to 40% expansel, volume percent, and uh, a reduced titanium dioxide addition to from 70 to 40 grams per liter. And still you can see that the, the reflectance over the, the entire spectra is, is improved. And uh, <laughs> the unique properties with, with this thermoplastic microsphere that differs them from glass microspheres, for example, is that these are resilient. You can squeeze them if you apply pressure, but when you release pressure again, they will bounce back and reform, reform into the shape of a sphere. And this is the reason we believe, the main reason why we do not lose as much uh, elasticity of the, of the binder when, when filling the system. Uh, you know that calcium carbonate is a rigid filler, and the more you fill the binder, the more it loses its, uh, its elastic properties. Uh, you don't see the same strong effect with these hollow microspheres. This is an example from a coating in South America where they focused on elasticity. And the, the binder to the left, to the right, is filled with calcium carbonate, and the one to the left is filled with hollow thermoplastic microspheres. So this means you can either fill the coating more and save mana on, on the binder, or you can stay at the same uh, PVC and uh, have a much better uh, coating properties. This will also translate to wet scrub resistance and adhesion and other important properties for these coatings. Well, 
as we said in the beginning, no, no solar reflective property is good if it's uh, dirty in, in a few months. So now we'll talk about how can we, how can we avoid dirt pickup. have a very nice solution for that and will also gives a nice combination with expand cell and that is to use our leva seal cc301 it's a colloidal silica modified to give very good stability and compatibility in the formulation as well as boosting both dirt pickup resistance and adherence to the substrate. Colloidal silica is in principle a small hard particle of amorphous silica in water, in principle a small hard glass particle on nanometer scale. For this area we have a number of specifically surface modified colloidal silicas. They are surface modified with an epoxy silane and the epoxy silane sorry is ring opened and I will see now if the pointer works you have two hydroxide groups at the end meaning these are extremely stable they are also compliant with the eco labeling Scandinavian EU eco labeling as well as uh, VUC legislation Stability is from the whole pH range, 2 to 12. And for this specific coating that we are going to look into now, we have focused on a 7 nanometer particle size, which has a 30% solid content. The importance to have a good results when it comes to dirt pickup resistance is to achieve a good surface enrichment. The surface enrichment of the small hard particles will reduce the dirt pickup by minimizing the ta surface tackiness. By doing that, you will extend the lifetime on the coating. And we will also see you will have a substrate interface enrichment. And that will also boost the, especially the wet adhesion, which is a crucial property if you have a flat roof. Here is a few examples, and one can see to have the reference comes the dirt pickup resistance. And here we did it for both for the carbon black, and it works efficient for a hydrophobic and uh, and hydrophilic dirt. But we show carbon black here. Here's a reference. Expansel increases flexibility, but unfortunately can give a little bit drawback when it comes to tackiness. Combination of colloidal silica and expand cell will give you the best of two words, meaning a highly reflective coating combined with long lasting effect because it stays clean. I mentioned adhesion, and we also found that the wet adherence, in principle, you could triple or even almost quadruple the wet adherence by adding around 8 to 10 percent product on formulation. 
Is it? Okay. Perfect. Sorry. <laughs> No problem. Okay. It makes life easier. Of course, flexibility was another parameter we are looking into. And here you have the flexibility of flow temperature, minus 26 degrees C. This is one of the, the requirements in the Miami Dade standard, D6083. And it's due to the big temperature changes for the coating that it expo is exposed for during the day, but also if you have a hurricane, temperature drop will come quite rapidly. Another parameter, and here you will see the benefit of using expand cell. You have the reference in total solar reflectance. You boost it with using expand cell in the formulation. Colloidal silica by itself will not contribute to any solar reflectance but it will maintain the, the surface so it will stay clean. So you can boost the solar reflectance and have a long-lasting effect. Now this is a very nice synergy for these products. So, just short about the, the summary of the, the properties. Highly reflective coating with good elasticity good enhancement of adhesion, a long-lasting effect. And if you want to see more, we are here, very nearby, at stand 444 in Hall 1. Any questions? That's it. Thank you very much.